Welcome to the Tesla Economist. Please hit the thumbs up and remember to subscribe. You can also follow me on Twitter and talk to me on Patreon. We've arrived at that time once again, the end of quarter delivery results. How many vehicles were Tesla successfully able to deliver for Q3 2021? Now, as we all know, the number the market cares about are the delivery numbers, but the number that we care about are the production numbers. Why? Because Tesla sell every car they make. It is inconsequential whether Tesla are late on a few deliveries at the end of the month, or if Tesla decide to add or take from inventory for the quarter. All we're really concerned with is the pace as to which Tesla are increasing their production rate. In Q2, we had a record 206,000 vehicles produced, and only 201,000 of those were delivered. We will now review the quarter and see if we can come up with some production estimates, and then at the end, speculate on what the deliveries might be as a result. The analysts are predicting around 233,000 deliveries for the quarter, so let's see what we can predict. Now, Elon has been quite vocal about deliveries this quarter. Elon stated that this would be their most intense delivery week ever, which is really saying something. It is rumoured that the chip shortages are causing a lot of this extra pressure, but also perhaps because production numbers are up so much too. I mean, can you imagine the logistics of a growing auto company? Think about it. Every single month, you need to find more employees than you did last month to deliver more vehicles you make, more transportation, shipping, and all other associated logistics involved. That doesn't sound easy. Maybe, I don't know, perhaps I'm just not a big fan of logistics. But anyway, potentially component shortages might have created bottlenecks in deliveries. Okay, let's get started then. Remember, we're calculating production numbers. Fremont, well, let's start with the Model S. A lot of people have been saying they think Tesla might have reached 10,000 units for this quarter for the Model S. We saw 2,340 Model S's produced last quarter, and Plaid launched at the 10th of June. So Tesla managed to produce over 2,000 Model S's in most of the last month of the quarter. Before the Model 3, I think Tesla were close to 15,000 Model S units a quarter. They obviously have enough batteries, and Model S would likely get priority over any components compared to the other cars, due to it being significantly more profitable. Model S uses an established production line, and likely able to ramp up much faster than some of the new ones. Of course, the ones delivered in June may have been produced weeks ago, but if Tesla are at a run rate of approximately 3,000 units a month, then that gives us 9,000 for the quarter. Although the run rate may very well be up to around 15,000 a quarter now, it's likely it wasn't at the start of the quarter. And this is Tesla, always impressing us. So I think I'm around the 9,000 unit number up to 10,000 Model S's for the quarter. This is not the easiest to predict with such a minimal track record. Okay, Model 3 Fremont. Tesla are doing very little with the Model 3 at Fremont in terms of expansion. Tesla discovered that the Model Y is a significantly better product to the company and are neglecting Model 3 as a result. Why bother trying to sell more of a car that takes longer, has less profit and sells for less? Model 3 seems fairly consistent at 50,000 units a quarter. However, it does appear that Model Y and Fremont is still ramping up. Remember, that although Shanghai factories are well above capacity, Model Y Fremont has yet to even reach the alleged capacity. But Model Y has been growing about 10% there quarter over quarter. I'm going to raise Model Y production to 57,000 units for the quarter. But Model Y production has been consistently increasing at Fremont still. Just because we don't hear much about it doesn't mean it's not happening. In addition to that, Tesla have possibly managed to free up some more 2170 batteries in Fremont due to Model 3 standard range starting to use LFP batteries. This gives a total of 117,000 from Fremont alone. It's possible I was a little pessimistic on the Model S numbers and a little optimistic on the Y. I like to generally have a good balance of my optimism and pessimism, but I try and go the direction the numbers tell me, even if they look too big at times. Okay, I do feel slightly on the optimistic side of Fremont here already, and now we're about to start the Shanghai numbers, which is where I possibly should have saved the optimism for, but let's do this. Well, it's actually only about calculating what numbers China did for September, as the CPCA provides us with close enough data for the previous two months. We know in July, China produced 37,000 units, and we know Tesla produced 42,000 units in August. Therefore, we only really need to work out what Tesla produced in September, and add that to the other months. We're hearing that Model 3 is at 800 units a day, but they were pretty much at that level in December. Nothing has really changed, and the Model 3 is floating around 20 to 24,000 units each month this year. So I'm just going to go in the middle and lock in 22,000 units. 
which isn't too far off 800 units a day, especially if you included a couple of days downtime, which is 65,000 made in China Model 3s for the quarter. And then we move on to made in China Model Y, which is actually what these numbers are all about. This is the wild card. With so much speculation running rampant on what these production lines are now capable of achieving, that's right, rumours that Model Y is now up at around 1,600 units a day, which is a run rate of nearly 50,000 units a month with no downtime. Yet we only had around 22,000 units last month, and we heard rumours of Model Y hitting 1,000 units a day back then. Now, if Tesla have hit 1,600 a day in September, then it wouldn't have been every day, and it wouldn't have been from the very start of the month. If Tesla achieved 1,000 a day, then that is 30,000 Model Ys for the month already. I'm going to take somewhat a leap of faith and believe that perhaps there is some truth to these Chinese rumours, even basing on 1,000 a day and then increasing it just by 10% compared to 60%, then I'm going to reach 33,000 Model Ys produced for the month, which is a total of 68,000 Model Ys produced for the quarter. Okay, I admit I might be acting a little on the bullish side here. It's just all about the amount of validity I assign to these rumours in China. This is over a 50% jump in production for the Model Y month over month already. That is a big jump. This now gives us production numbers of 250,610, up from 206,420 last quarter. That is a 20% increase month over month. What could have accounted for it? Well, it's obviously increasing the Model S units, but it mainly accounts for 68,000 made in China Model Ys for the quarter, compared to 32,000 from the previous quarter. That's the jump. So it's all about how believable the ramp is. But I always tend to be somewhat overly bullish, and my numbers always come in a little bit over the real ones. So although my numbers say 251,600, if I was a betting person, I would trim a bit of the fat and squeeze it down about 1% to around 248 to 249,000. And anyway, we want delivery numbers. Well, last quarter, Tesla added about 5,000 more cars into their inventory. So potentially they may remove some cars this quarter. On the other hand, Q4 is always the biggest, so they may be stockpiling somewhat for that. Anyway, this is just a pure guess, very little way of knowing, but I'm going to say Tesla take 2,000 cars from inventory to add on production to give delivery numbers. Now, if Tesla end up adding 5,000 to inventory, then my numbers are going to be way off. That would then bring the total delivery numbers to 252,600. If Tesla break 20,000 deliveries, then that will move the stock. I would say bound to surpass 800 given where the stock is today. I attempted to buy some options for this. When the price recently dropped around 720, I have a feeling this will be an impressive quarter. If Tesla achieve these deliveries, does it mean 1 million is again possible for total deliveries? Well, I think it's still unlikely it will depend on whether Texas or Berlin can give a boost for Q4. But as I've been saying for some time, over 900,000 does look promising. Let me know your thoughts in the comments and what delivery numbers you're expecting. Thanks for listening. Please hit the thumbs up and subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter and talk to me on Patreon.